promises to go as a student that will increase your chances of becoming a permanent resident via provincial nomination hello guys welcome to my channel my name is king josh Hart, the founder of no ihs canada on TikTok and on instagram all right guys it's been a while i decided to give you guys updates today provinces that lead to easy PR after studies all right this video is going to impact you so that you know the right province to go and study and become a permanent resident then you can switch to a citizen after six years all right guys this video is very informative i've done my research i've compiled them in this video so i would like you to stay to the end of this video so that you catch the full information and the knowledge so that you can use it for your own good so guys if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button like and share to your friends who wants to go to canada next year any other year so let's guys let's get started all right i know part of your plan after studying in canada is to be able to stay back and become a permanent resident or citizen canada is always looking out for those who have studied here so there will always be something for you to stay permanently all right becoming a permanent resident is however not automatic so you have to play your cards right by knowing your options early enough and positioning yourself okay i know part of your plans we all know that part of our plans of coming um, to canada as a student is so that we can become a permanent resident and remain back in the country and also switch to citizen after six years okay so this video is going to inform you the various platform the various pathways you can use to become permanent resident as a student in canada all right now we'll be looking at this uh route this option called the canada provincial nominee programs okay so what is the canada provincial nominee program the canada provincial nominee program pmp is a program designed by the canadian government to allow provinces and territories to nominate individuals who wish to immigrate to canada and who are interested in settling in a particular province or territory right there are three plans you should make when coming to canada to study all right three plans you should make when coming to canada to study number one study plan choose the right program okay there's so many programs that do not give you advantage when it comes to becoming a permanent resident all right you are coming to canada please choose out programs that the, the labor is shortage here in canada all right so that when you apply for permanent residence it's easier for you and to give you a high point all right so the program you which you want to select to come and study in canada should be useful should be something that canada needs they have shortage of labor in canada so that when you apply for permanent residence you'll be able to get it okay career plan same thing to know what to do professionally and as a job offer your study and prepare you have to study and what prepare ahead personal exit plan okay to know your permanent immigration options after your study and prioritize or position yourself for the programs or provinces that will increase your option of becoming a permanent resident in canada okay now we'll be talking about this canada provisional nominee programs all right so this for that is number three which is personal exit plan so that you will know the the route the, the, the permanent immigration route you want to follow or the province you want to use to apply for permanent resident okay so you need to put that in your plan to why you are still in school studying so before that you'll be able to plan your way know the um, strategy you want to use and push for your um, application before time pass you by okay the express entry general draws are back but the cut off for the draws are, are still very high right many applicants will need a canadian work experience second language test in french a job offer a native in canada or a provincial nomination to get enough points to be eligible now express entry is a popular program that many foreign nationals
have been using to apply directly for permanent residence in Canada. And why express entry is not the only permanent residence program in Canada, it is the most popular and the one used by majority of the foreign nationals who want to become a permanent resident in Canada. So this is just explaining what express entry is. All right. So we, like I said, we're talking about the Canada Provincial Nominee Programs in this video. Okay. So due to delay in the program, I'm just trying to bring up the background so that we can know how to scale. Okay. Due to the delay in program, the next best option that many individuals are considering to, is coming to Canada as a student first. All right because the student route is very fast it's easier many people choose to come as a student first if you study in canada you may either be eligible to apply for the canada express class which is the cc of the express entry now that the general draw is back or you may seek a student nomination for a permanent resident from a province canada and many of the provinces are always looking out for those who have studied here so there will always be something for you to stay permanently right so canada wants us to become permanent residents after studies okay despite the immigration uh minister already announced that it's not a guarantee but they still want us to become a permanent resident so that we can stay back and improve canada system in general right so there are over 100 immigration programs in canada with different requirements and what each student will be eligible for will depend on their individual profile so today let me tell you about the canada provinces to go as a student these provinces have student nomination programs that will increase your chances of becoming a permanent resident through a provisional nomination so all this explanation is just to bring a background so we can sketch you i hope you're enjoying this video please if you're enjoying this video kindly click on the subscribe button drop a comment like and share to someone who will need to hear this video and watch it out okay let's go provinces that leads to easy canada permanent residence after studies all right we have the Saskatchewan, we have the ontario we have which is colombia we have manitoba we have new brunswick we have nova scotia we have newfoundland and labrador we have prince edward island we have alberta and quebec all right so the 10 provinces in canada offers provisional nomination okay but i want to talk about each of them and how you can be able to apply for the pr to provisional nomination okay so let's go um so question one number one all right there's a student category of provincial nomination in question one once you graduate from a recognized school in the province and work for a minimum of six months you are eligible for a nomination for pr right so question one is top of my list because it has a seamless nomination process for students who have studied in the province and meet the necessary requirements all right there are some additional requirements to note but you will find out all the information you need here okay so this link is going to be on the description under this video so you want to check out the requirements so that you start prepare your documents to apply for this PR okay you can just go to this link www.sukashtuan.ca okay the link will be on the description so you don't need to worry yourself you can just click directly to check out or you can type it on your browser so the, the second top province on my list is Ontario all right Ontario is very big also it's in Ontario there's an international student stream that requires you to get a job offer all right in Ontario you need to get a job offer is for all levels of study and it's helpful for students going for a college program in Ontario right you need a job offer for this stream okay see more information here the documents you need all right www.ontario.ca okay dot car all right like I said the link will be on the description on the video so you just check the description you see the links for each of the provinces so you can go directly and check the requirement all right there's also the master and PhD graduate stream if you have masters or PhD degree from eligible school in Ontario right for this one you do not need a job offer for this okay so if you have masters or PhD degree from eligible school in Ontario you do not need job offer okay number three British Columbia okay so if you have a graduate degree in the science field from an eligible British Columbia school that is BC you are good to go for the BC International Postgraduate Program okay you must have graduated in the last three years with a masters or PhD 
degree in the natural applied or health science field okay for this nomination program you do not need a job offer right you find more information on the link here this www.welcomebc.ca okay this link will be on the description below in this video so you can just go ahead to check out the requirements you need okay the international postgraduate stream is also available for PhD students who have completed their comprehensive exams and are now PhD candidates all right with this they can apply for the nomination in British Columbia and become permanent residents even before completing the PhD program. For other students outside or above the disciplines, there are also additional professional nomination streams that require an employer or intermediate job offer in British Columbia. Right? Information can be found on this link. Now, let me just explain this British Columbia one. If you are in the science field, it's easier for you to be nominated. Right? In the tech field or in the health field, anything related to science, it's easier for you to be nominated, all right, without getting a job offer. But if you are not inside the science field, you will need an employer to nominate you for PR. You need to get employed, okay? So that's just the preparation of that context. So let's go to the fourth one, which is Manitoba, all right? Manitoba is dedicated to providing international students graduating in Manitoba and meeting the needs of industry faster pathways to nomination all right the international education stream ies in manitoba has three pathways for students who complete their program in the province all right so more information or more options all right career employment pathway all levels of studies graduate internship pathway masters and, and doctoral students all right international students entrepreneur pilots you need a business plan so this this is a three pathway for the nation uh, for Manitoba okay more information about the requirements you need we found in Manitoba website which is https right column slash slash immigration immigrantsmanitoba.com okay the link will be on the description so you can go ahead to, to check out the requirements for number five is New Brunswick all right they have a lot of GC nomination programs for students in New Brunswick including the Atlantic Permanent Resident Program. Okay, uh, I explained this Atlantic Program here. Okay, it's available for students in all four Atlantic provinces. So this is explanation. They also have the New Brunswick Express Entry that students can apply for when their program is near completion or just completed. Okay, you can apply for the student connection stream within six months of completing your study. Okay, you do not need a job offer and don't you do not what need a canada work experience for this okay you do not need a job of i don't need canada work experience for this so on april 1st 2022 last year new brunswick also started a nomination program for students who graduate from four private career college and study 19 and it find occupations all right you can read that information on the link here so the link is on uh, the government website of new brunswick so you can go ahead and link will be he put it for you in the description below so you can go directly to check out the requirements all right we are going to this province now the sixth one is what nova scotia okay nova scotia is also a part of the atlantic province and you can apply for the atlantic pr program in nova scotia too okay if you also start a business or buy a nova scotia business and operate it for at least a year you'll be eligible for nomination through their international graduate entrepreneur program remember I, I mentioned this in new brunswick okay so if you buy any nova scotia business and operate it for at least a year you'll be eligible for nomination through their international graduate entrepreneur program more information will be found in their website nova scotia immigration.com the link will be on the description please so you can go and check out the information more and the requirement needed there are also other nomination programs to apply for if you get a job offer in this province so this one whether you get a job offer or you don't get a job offer you can check out the options you want to use so if you don't have a job offer you can be eligible for nomination if you buy a business or if you start a business okay so now number seven newfoundland and la Brado, okay this is another atlantic province okay so the atlantic pr program is available there too they also have the international graduate program for recent graduates who have a postgraduate work permit and a job okay or job offer from a newfoundland and Labrador employer 
okay you find more information on their website here it's on the description below so go and check out the requirements so this what i trying to say is that for recent graduates who have postgraduate work permits and a job we be eligible for our uh, nomination in their province okay number eight prince edward island okay this is the fourth province in the atlantic region and also the smallest province smallest province in canada students in this province can also apply for pr to the atlantic pr program okay in Prince edward island that is pi you can also apply for the nomination for permanent resident through the international graduate streams of the prince edward island commission nominee program okay if you graduate from a publicly founded prince edward island post-secondary institution you're eligible okay the international graduate stream is employer driven allowing island employers to feel provision they are unable to feel through the local job market for more information you can check on the prince edward island website okay it's on the description below for this like i said you need a job offer to be able to be eligible for uh, nomination okay to the local job markets so employers will have to nominate you for that so number nine alberta this is a graduate entrepreneur stream in the province it allows alberta to nominate qualified international graduates from alberta post secondary institution who wants to establish or put a business in alberta to apply for permanent residence you can check out more information on this website right it's on the description below Okay. There's also the Alberta Opportunity Streams that allow qualified candidates who live and work in Alberta and have a job offer from an Alberta employer to apply for provincial nomination. More information we found here. So let me just explain this now. Now for Alberta to be to be able to be qualified for nomination, at least must be must have graduated from a post-secondary institution who wants to establish or put a business in Alberta to apply for a permanent residence. Okay. Uh, you also need a job offer to for an employer to be to appoint you for provincial nomination for Alberta. Okay, you need to get a job. Now the last one, which is Quebec, Quebec, the French province. Okay, for Quebec, the graduate stream of Quebec Experience Program (PEQ) is for foreign students who graduated from Quebec. All right, it allows you to obtain a Quebec selection certificate in order to settle in Quebec permanently. Bonjour les Massy. Okay, that's that's just speaking French. Okay, you need knowledge of oral French and must meet all the requirements today. Yes, so if you are a French speaking country or from special country, this should be your best shot. Okay, or also if you want to learn how to speak French language and you have written your IITS exam, you this province will favor you. So if you want to base on this language. You need to go to this province all right so you need oral french to be able to meet uh, the requirement that's number one requirement but not to speak in french all right at least was not to speak in french so for this for foreign students who graduate from quebec all right you don't need off job offer for this but if you graduate from quebec and you know how to speak in french you'll be nominated for our uh, primary resident so that's for that that's all Thank you all for watching. Stay to the end. You can go over this video for more enlightenment so I can catch the knowledge. All right, these are research I did myself. So you can go to the website, like I said, on the description below. Check out the requirements, the provinces that you already apply for, or you are in already. If you're in Canada or outside Canada, you can check out the requirements and start preparing before you at least graduate from your school. So if you need additional information on how to prepare your study in Canada, document find schools or apply for scholarship in Canada, you can check previous posts here on YouTube. There are some of my videos that are free here on YouTube. You can check out them. Also, you can if for paid service, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, send an email to me. All right, and I wish you all the best. Please subscribe to this channel, share to someone, and bye for now.